Hello everyone, welcome to Placement Raza. In this Python tutorial, we will see advanced math operations. First, we will see how to convert float to integer. Then, uh, how to round up a float. How to round down a float. How to round a float to its nearest integer. How you can perform uh, mathematical operations like square root of a number. How to get power of a number. How to get log logarithm of a number with respect to any base. How to get absolute of a number first we will see how to convert float to integer see here a is a float um, which contains value 6.77 if you want to convert into a float uh, integer you have to use this function here integer uh, int of is a function which will convert float into uh, greatest integer less than that number here 6.77 is a float greatest integer less, uh, less than this float is 6 so out, out should, output should be 6 you can see the output of this one 6 suppose even if you give here 6.99 it will return only 6 that is a greatest number which is less than the given float 6 now we saw how to convert float to integer then we will see rounding up a float if you want to round up round up returns you will see print math dot here we are using math library and seal is a function in a, uh, math library which contains uh, which takes input of a any num any any argument like integer or float we will take here a, uh, a which, is, which contains value 6.99 now we will give it is number as 6.4 or 6.2 or 6.1 what it will return is smallest integer greater than this number here um, actually it returns smallest float not a float smallest integer which is rounded up to a uh, like uh, 7.0 something see here sm smallest integer greater than this number is 7 here maths are math dot seal it will return a float so output should be 7.0 here I am rounding up a float by using math.seal if you want to convert this uh, we got output as 7.0 if you want to convert it to an integer we have to use this function integer function which will convert float to integer so you can do like this now we got 7 integer before we got a float here integer uh, this is for typecasting like converting a float to integer now just now we saw rounding of a float if you want to round down a float suppose uh, b is a variable which contains some uh, value of 7.9 if you want to round down a float you have to use math.floor math.floor which will take uh, any argument here we will take uh, a b as the argument and we will see this now output should be smallest inti greatest integer less than this number that is 7, seven. but your float math dot floor always returns as a float it will return 7.0 you can see this also see it return uh, this math functions always returns a floor if you want to convert you ha again you have to use here type casting this is how it works now if you want to round down to nearest integer here we are rounding up up here we are rounding down but if you want to round down to nearest integer we just have to use round function you will see this suppose c contains value uh, for 4.4 4. the rules are um, the rules are um, 
if uh, if it is greater than uh, after the decimal if it is greater than 5 here um, 4 is there if it is greater than 5 it will round up if it is uh, less than less than 5 greater than or equal to 5 it will uh, round up if it is less than 5 it will round down so now output should be we don't want this uh, out now output should be 4 again if you want to convert into integer you have to use int of type casting here now if you give here 4.5 you will get uh, because round off function will always round to the nearest integer now uh, you will get answer as 5 5.0 this is how round off will works suppose uh, we will see some other operations we will remove these th these things suppose a is a variable mm, which contains the result of this operation 16.0 by 7 it will return a float if you print this we will get something like uh, there are many numbers after a decimal point but if you want to round up to two digits or three digits if you want to round to two or three digits then you can use round function with some other extra argument see what it will indicate see here it is round will take a number and this square brackets indicates it is the optional optional thing you can include or not if you want to include you have to use comma and here n digits indicates number of digits after decimal point so this is how round will works suppose uh, now i want to round down to uh, round to uh, two digits after the decimal so i have to use here number of digits after decimal point two so we will see the output of this one mm, see now i got 2.29 i have rounded round it to two decimal points after uh, two, two digits after the decimal point this is very useful in some competitive programming where you have to use written only a float uh, which contains only some uh, two or three digit two or three digits after the decimal point now how we have seen everything like round up round down and round is uh, integer then now we will see square root of a number power logarithm and absolute of a number we will remove these things mm. and just like if you want to take uh, square root of any number you have to use math dot square root it is a function which will accept uh, <coughs> any integer oh, 64 square root is 8 8 point 0 I already told you um, math functions math functions will always return a float if you want to convert into integer you have to use int of if you want to convert into a uh, string you can use like this suppose a is a variable um, which contains the result of the math that square root of 64 now it will contain 8. a contains 8.0 it is a float if you want to convert it into a string you have to use str function which will take any object uh, now i am giving a it is the string here we can do st string concatenation also here uh, square root of square root of 64 is here plus indicates concatenation of two strings um, here a is a float but i have already converted it into a already converted it into a string 
so we can see the output of this one mm, square root of 64 is 8.0 if you want to <coughs> now we will see power of a number suppose mm, is a number which contains 3 if you want to get 3 power 4 or 3 square or something you have to use print math dot po po indicates power here x is a number to which we can raise power y here uh, I am taking a I am raising it to 5 it means a contains value 3 now it raises to power 5 that is 3 power 5 value should be uh, 243 something 243.0 mm, log is uh, similar to this one just like uh, we have to use math dot uh, log so here what you have to notice here it is it will accept two arguments in which uh, one argument is compulsory and another argument is optional here second argument is a base mm, it will take suppose um, if you give only one one argument then it will calculate the logarithm of 5 with respect to base e you have to notice this one base e but if you want to give any base by yourselves like there are many other bases mm. math.log if you want to give to base base 2 base 2 output of this, this should be 3 I think I suppose here I am using explicitly mentioning base base 2 if you don't mention any base it will take defaultly base default by default base e this is how log works In the, it, this indicates log 5 with respect to base e this is log 8 with respect to base 2 you, you should get 3.0 you can do it manually also now absolute of a number is, is it, it will just convert uh, negative number into positive pass through number if it is positive it will um, it will be same suppose if a contains negative number is a fro uh, 4 can you just absolute of a number we uh, don't need uh, we don't need math library also for this one it will convert it into a positive number positive number so these are the advanced uh, math operations in next tutorial we will see about compare uh, other operators mm, compare uh, comparison operators and if else how we have to use a control flow in a program we will see all else thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel